When we use our latest electronic devices to check our Facebook feed or take a selfie, we usually don't think about speed as a problem. But the availability of enough computing power can be a limiting factor in situations where we need to process a lot of information in a short amount of time, such as finding cues uh, to better treat cancer. Now, the computing power is provided by uh, microprocessors made of tiny devices that we call transistors. For the past 50 years or so, we've been able to make computers faster by decreasing the size of each transistor so we can pack a lot more of them on a given surface area. For example, in 2009, the size of each transistor was 45 nanometers. Today, it's close to 10 nanometers. That's more than 10,000 times smaller than the average diameter of a human hair. Now, as you can imagine, we are fast approaching the time when we will not be able to make those transistors any smaller. So how do we keep improving the speed of our electronic devices? In my research, I, instead of looking at how we can make transistors smaller, I look for materials that can make them better in the first place. And I study those materials at the molecular level, and I investigate how their atomic structure ultimately affects their performance. One very interesting material that I've studied so far is made of indium, gallium, and arsenic, and it could be as much as eight times faster than the current material that we use to make transistors. In my research, I've provided valuable insights into how defects that occur naturally or are introduced during fabrication will behave and ultimately affect performance for computing purposes. One such defect that I've discovered is called split interstitial. Now, one way to think about this defect is to consider a musical chair game in which there's one player who's famously bad at the game, obviously not me, and that player is always fighting with someone for their chair. Now, the music will start and stop again. Our famous player will have moved, but he will just be fighting with someone else for their chair. Now, when that type of defect is present in Ingas, is it uh, behaves as a parasite and negatively affects performance. But now that we know its existence, we can try to find ways to limit or even prevent its existence, its presence altogether. Um, or, or, moreover, uh, in my research, well, we hope to find materials that will allow us to make better and faster computing devices. Um, that way, in the future, when we use computers to find cures for diseases, we can do that as fast as we take a selfie today. <laughs>